Personnel movements on remote military bases revealed by an exercise app. You may have heard of Strava. It's a social network for athletes, and they've actually published a map that shows what everybody who's using their app, who hasn't set their information to be private, is doing, where they're going. And one person realized that this could actually show many people what military members are doing around or even on their bases. If you take a look at these maps, we already knew where the military bases were, if you look at Google Maps, but this tells you something much more intimate, exactly where people are going inside those bases and maybe even where they're going to run around those bases, possibly providing people with very important information. Now, nobody here is alleging that somebody has actually been harmed as a result of publishing this data. But take a look at what a spokesperson for the Department of Defense told CNN, quote, DOD takes matters like these very seriously and is reviewing the situation to determine if any additional training or guidance is required and if any additional policy must be developed to ensure the continued safety of Department of Defense personnel at home and abroad. Strava says they have tens of millions of users and they track cell phones, GPS devices and other fitness tracking apps, but that you can't actually figure out what one single person is doing here or who they are. Quote, our global heat map represents an aggregated and anonymized view of over a billion activities uploaded to our platform. It excludes activities that have been marked as private and user defined privacy zones. But what this all shows is that even members of military bases in remote places aren't always cognizant of the privacy settings, especially when so many apps are set to automatically share information that may be seemingly harmless, but when put together in a large group and published online for the world to see, could pose major operational security risks.